Hi, welcome along everyone. Today I'm going to look at something that sounds a bit mad but it's a torque wrench set and that's because I'm finding with plumbing today that bathroom suites uh, and most parts that are coming from Europe now have got special bolts and crosshead type screws. Uh, they're like star shape and you know you do need a torque wrench sometimes just to get them off so to that end I'm going to give a review of this really marvellous torque wrench that I managed to get hold of here and I'll show you and these are the type of bolts I mean this this type of thing I think you can see that there horrible horrible things uh, and they've been coming out more and more uh, I've took a top off a tap the other day and found one of these on the top and found I couldn't undo it not even with the kit of bits I had so I decided in the end to take the plunge get something a bit decent which is what I want to show you here so here's my little set here uh, it's not too big it's nice and small uh, so it's not a large weight in the old toolbox so it's kind of easy and portable but a good quality one I'll show you it's been calibrated and taking a look at it there you've got the usual forward and reverse on the socket head uh, and as you come down the body you'll see you've got a little scowl in there which is to give you the correct torque for what you require the spanner for. We don't want to over tighten something and sometimes you do need to set it exactly so that it's not too tight and maybe you do also need to undo something that's really tight but you don't want to break it so you don't want to over, over pull either. So torque wrench very handy. Uh, there's a settings for it at the end there and you set it and turn it on there. I'll show you what I mean. Now here we have our spanner. Uh, to set it, you set it on the graph here uh, and you literally just push it in and twist. And you'll see the graph going up there. There you are. You can see the settings that we're going up to here. I'll just show you the, the booklet now. Once you get it to the setting you want, you just set it in there. It clicks in as you go. I've found it's been really good so far, no problems with it whatsoever. There then we have the conversion tables because as you know uh, torque settings can be in many different formats <laughs> as you gather from that lot there. This little set came with these wrenches very good. This is the part I like so here's our socket and to put it on just push it like so and push the button at the back this button here so I'll show you get it like that push the button and it falls straight on but what I like then is it won't come off it stays there so it's not like normal socket that can fall off I know a lot of them do have the balls hold them in place but you know that's not going to come off of there uh, and so you can't get it off until you release it put your finger on the back again and just pull and it comes off I think that's a nice little idea that I really like so that's on the back of the usual as I say functions at the back there for turning the socket whichever way nice smooth action on there you can hear it very good this one I got from Mahu, and uh, I'll give you the Amazon link. Very good if you're after something like this. I say you can use it obviously for sockets and stuff as well. Okay, that's around about it, everyone. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, usual place for all my videos, Derek and 33. Catch you again next time. Bye bye.